It's game on. It's the NFL's second season. We're celebrating the great season that the Vikings pulled off after that disastrous 2011. One of the Viking greats is in the house talking football and his new off-field work. One of the biggest boxing matches in recent history set to take place in just days. It's Tony time. You'll hear from one of the men fighting in the ring. A Gopher men's basketball standout is back to update us on his new work helping kids and rapping. And an update on our fantasy football challenge. Happy New Year. It's time to get your game on. Say what you want about the Vikings postseason dreams, but what a season it has been. Chasing the playoffs, Adrian Peterson, and the dash to that rushing record. What a December. And greetings again from the Dakotas to the heart of downtown Minneapolis. This is Game On, coming to you from our new digs right in the heart of downtown Minneapolis. Across from the home of the Wolves at Target Center, it's Kieran's Irish Pub. Rod Simon, it's great to have you with us. Game On, first show of the new year, and yeah, we are all over the map. Talking some boxing, got a little music in there, our fantasy football gurus back, and again, tons of football. So let's get after it as we always do. Start game on by the numbers. And when we look at the numbers, we see after consecutive last place finishes, the Vikings make the playoffs at 10 and six. You gotta love that. The Wolves have nine road games in January, only six at home. The Swarm are soon going to be opening their National Lacrosse League season. And the twin spring training, count them, 39 days away. Couldn't be more delighted to lead off game on than with one of the toughest guys to get to sit down to talk <laughs> on camera. E.J. Henderson is in the house. How so, are you? How you doing? Good Happy to see you. New Year. Happy New Year to you. Happy holidays. Oh, and thank you. And same to you. And I'm, I, I first of all, going to talk about the Vikings season that they uh, just wrapped up. We know about the playoffs this weekend mm -hmm. and all that. Were you surprised after the three and thirteen that they went ten and six and qualified for the playoffs? I was definitely surprised. I was definitely surprised. Um, and you know, not a knock on Leslie Frazier or the group of guys he had, um, but jumping from three wins to ten wins. Um, that's usually one or two teams um, during the NFL season. I remember reading an article before camp, and we was kind of talking about. He was asking the players, kind of asking about, you know, what three team, what team that had three wins is now going to come back and yeah. get ten wins. So that's definitely interesting. Hats off to him. Proud of him. Lesson the guys. Hats mm -hmm. off to my little brother Jasper yeah. Brinkley, Kevin Williams. You know, right. 03 draft class, getting back to the big dance. Number so I'm proud 28. Of him. Oh, that's, I mean, that goes without saying, AD all day. Yeah. Um, definitely a dream, miracle season, especially bouncing back from that knee injury. Um, amazing. One of the good things for us in this region is you're, you've stayed here and you've started something that desperately needs the attention of a professional athlete like yourself. It's called Youth Pro Fitness, Yo Pro for mm -hmm. short, yeah. and you are attacking youth obesity, youth unfitness if you will yeah. and you're you're going to make some changes definitely youth pro fitness and nutrition uh, we definitely want to attack the lack of exercise um, the lack of proper eating habits ages 7 to 13 that's kind of our niche um, and we're recruiting pro athletes that's kind of where the pro comes from and yo pro yeah we're recruiting athletes so far it's me and ben lieber ben yeah. lieber's on the team um, so we're leading this movement and i think that it's important that athletes like myself who are experts um, yeah by default because we played for 20 years you know you've been doing athletics you know what you right. need to eat you know uh you know how you to know, stay healthy stay healthy discipline when it comes to all eating that. exercising you know the type of workouts you need to do and yes. for us to preach that to the kids um it brings awareness mm. it brings um credibility well, to our programs and they'll listen to you AJ. no question no question they listen to you guys no question that's why it's a movement i think it's going to be big for us to get you know some guys involved where the kids can really look up to those and not just in football wrestling baseball basketball and and everyday eating because i have horrible habits mm -hmm. at times when it comes to eating and hopefully all that stuff will kind of uh, glean off of the kids to the parents yeah definitely when they're that age 7 to 13 they're like sponges so right now we want to give them very very simple yeah. nutritionary tips we're not talking about uh, substances or uh, PEDs or anything like that we want just basic things you can take through your whole life um, you know amount of fruits and vegetables you need to eat um, how many times a week should you have snacks you know just basic stuff like that so these kids can now adopt this into a lifestyle and pass it on to their brothers and sisters, even their parents if the parents aren't up to date. Oh, I think so. And one of the things that you get is the social media age and your website is chock full of information. The people working with you obviously know how vital it is to have that portal to tell people about what you do. Yeah, we're definitely attacking the social media hard, Twitter, Facebook, um, YouTube. We even got a Pinterest account uh, nice. for the moms so they can kind of really get a feel for what we're doing and preach it to the kids. 
Um, Captain Marketing is our team who's definitely got that social media working. Um, you can check out our website and get all our information, follow us where, website Twitter, right there. all that. Yep. Very nice. And YoPro is going to get busy. You got some after school things. To get. Tell us about that. Yes, we definitely. The YoPro movement is definitely coming to your community. We're in two schools in Eaton Prairie, Oak Point, uh, Chanhassen, and we're in Chan Elementary and Bluff Creek. Yep. So those are four after school programs, Monday through Thursday. All on your website. Week, all on the website. You can check it out. Sign up through our website. Sign up through Eaton Prairie Community Ed, Chanhassen Community Ed. Nice. We're ready to roll. You can also probably ask EJ questions. Just go to the website and do that. But football questions. Just stick to the Yo Pro, right? I'll answer some football questions. I'm a fan. I'm <laughs> definitely a fan. I'm not I'm running from not the game. I'm not used to that yet. I I'm still want to game. play it. Yeah, I'm still there. I'm we love you, man. I appreciate it. Appreciate Happy it, New Year. Thank you. EJ Henderson, the man right here. Yo Pro in it on Game On. We'd love to have you join us for a special Game On taping. Hockey night is coming. We're going to be talking to Wild and North Star players. Hockey author Ross Bernstein giving his take on the lockout. Autographs and ticket giveaways as well. Keep your game on with Facebook, Twitter, and all our updates at GameOnTVMN.com. Time for Voice of the Fan, and after that 3-13 and season, it's mission accomplished for the Vikings to get to the playoffs. It's pretty unbelievable, and uh, like I said, you got to credit a lot of people for that. You know, leaders in the team, young guys stepping up, coaches, you know, just unbelievable. We're, we're happy to be here, but we're not, we're, not, uh, we're not done. We hope we're not done. We're going to keep playing. On deck, it's Tony time, only on Game On. Fire scores. You got a hold on my sleeve. I can't leave. It murdered the original me, and I can't grieve. So this is who I'm thinking. Everyone's gonna catch him right in. Shoot and scores with the first game shot. Give my mom a crib in the birds and no fit in the mean and all of the in between. Shoot and scores. The swerve went in over time. He's got a hold on me. He's got a hold on me. Okay. I'm Randall McDaniel. As a former Minnesota Viking and a member of the Pro Football Hall of Fame, I know how important it is to fuel up to be successful on and off the field. Now, I work with third graders and I see firsthand the positive impact exercise and good nutrition has on my students. As a partner with the Taste of the NFL and the NFL's Play 60 program, I'm proud to do my part to make sure kids get the nutrition they need. Please help us kick hunger in America and encourage an active lifestyle by supporting the Taste of the NFL and the NFL's Play 60 program. The Timberwolves Meal Deal presented by Papa John's is a great way to save money and watch Kevin Love, Brandon Roy, and Andre Kirilenko bring a playoff atmosphere back to Target Center. For just $25, you get an upper-level ticket, a hot dog, chips, small Pepsi, and a coupon for a free large Papa John's pizza. Tickets are only available for purchase in advance of game day. To purchase your Meal Deal tickets, go to Timberwolves.com slash Meal Deal. The Minnesota Timberwolves. Wolves United. Meat Sauce here from KFAN. My weekly trivia question, courtesy of Bar Abilene, is Was Bud Grant the first coach of the Minnesota Vikings? We'll get to the answer at the end of Game On. Welcome back. It's Game On, powered by Kieran Slide to have you with us. Happy New Year. Tony G. Golden Caleb Truax in the house, part of Tony Time. New segment on the show, delighted to have it a part of the show because Tony is, he knows the fight game in the cage, in the ring, and it's long overdue, isn't it? Yeah, well, you know, Minnesota's had a long history of some of the best fights uh, the country's seen. Um, our talent pool is pretty extreme. Um, yep. Got a lot of great fighters in, in you know, both professional boxing and uh, MMA, along with some of the other sports like like uh, kickboxing, yep. karate, um, jiu-jitsu, uh, grappling. So uh, we're really excited to be able to bring this segment and kind of yeah. talk about talk about some of the happenings in, in Minnesota and the Midwest, along with bringing some of the athletes on, on the show and, and kind of talk about and edify what they've been doing. And, and it's interesting because you and I have talked about this for a long time. It, it's really underreported, and it's the fastest growing sport in the country. It, it truly is. I mean, there's... You know, as you can't even turn on TV now without seeing you know some, some something to do with yeah. the UFC or, or MMA. Um, boxing, boxing has, yeah. has made it. Boxing so strong na you know, internationally. Now it's starting to make a, a, an incredible resurgence again on on the the strong networks like you know ABC, NBC. Yeah. 
Um, Fox. It's just yep. Fox, yep. Uh, ESPN. I mean, it's just amazing the transition and, and the excitement that's kind of built behind uh, boxing and, and MMA. And when we talk boxing, Golden is in the house. You, you have a big fight coming up. Tony is working it. It's the 19th of January yep. against longtime Minnesota boxer Matt Vanda. Yeah, I'm, I'm so excited. It's a, it's a fight that's uh, been probably about three years in the making. It's the biggest fight that uh, can be made in Minnesota right now. One of the biggest fights in state history is what everybody's telling me. So I'm, 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 uh, I'm excited to, uh, to get in the ring with Matt. Just days away from the fight, are you nervous? Are you in the final stages of your uh, training? Where are you? Uh, definitely not nervous. I, I don't get nervous. I don't get nervous. I, uh, At right all? Not really. I mean, the night of the fight, I have a little bit of uh, anxiety, but it's more I just, I'm just anxious to get into the ring and get things going. I don't really get nervous as far as uh, am I going to win, am I going to lose, blah, blah, blah. It's, it's just uh, I just want to get out there and fight, man. But uh, right now, as far as training goes, I'm, I'm uh, still sparring. I'm still uh, hitting it real hard. Um, for these next two weeks, I'll be uh, sparring, doing everything, running, road work, everything like that. Uh, the last week, I kind of... Um, Kind of tone things down a little bit, let my body recover yeah. from a long training camp, and then uh, the 19th we uh, go out and kick some butt. Very nice, Matt Vanda. Well, you know he's he's probably the most uh, he's been the greatest ambassador to, that Minnesota's had probably since Scott Ledoux. Um, you know, among some of the best fighters of all time that come out of Minnesota, he's, he's won a lot of fights. Won a lot of fights. He's 44 and 14. Uh, been involved in some of the biggest, uh, most exciting cards that Minnesota's ever had. Um, and you know, again, it's just, it's just Matt could sell a fight better than anybody. Um, we're real excited to put this fight together. You know, as everybody said, it's the most anticipated fight in Minnesota boxing history. Mm -hmm. And it, it's just, I mean, it's, it's a cra crazy, incredible event. Are these kind of fights, these big name Golden and, and, and Vanda fights, are these the ones that, that draw the attention and help bring the sport right back where you said it's absolutely, to be? absolutely. You know, and I think. You know, without a guy like uh, like Scott Ledoux or guys like that can really push boxing in Minnesota, we've we've kind of been hurting for yeah. a for a franchise type of fighter that we can hang our hats on until we've you know until Caleb Truex came along and and this guy's you know he's he's knocking everybody out. He's he's putting uh, you know a tremendous amount of people in the seats. He's, he's garnered a ridiculous amount of attention both in the media, yeah, um, you know, uh, internet wise, you know, all, all over the place and and. Uh, so it's, it's great to have an ambassador like that, you know, in, in the fight game, and it's it's great to have a fight like this to be able to show the fans that hey, you know, boxing's back and stronger than ever. And, yeah. and People want tickets. How do they get them? I can go to ofights.com, get your tickets. Tickets are still available. More information right there, and you're going to be okay. I'm going to be all right, like always. I'm going to go out and do my thing on uh, the 19th and take care of business. We love you, Golden Caleb Truex, Tony G. Part of Tony's time here on Game On and get to the fight. Give me a good one. <laughs> you can get your Game On anytime. Download our new app for iPhones and Android 2, full shows, sponsor link, and great photos. We'll also link you to our show website. It's packed full of good stuff. And then please check out our partner site. It's purplepride.org. Bookmark us, please, at GameOnTVMN.com. Time for Voice of the Fan, and after that 3-13 and 13 season, it's mission accomplished for the Vikings to get to the playoffs. The thing about it is that's so special is that we really earned this, man. You know, I've never fought for something so hard in my life, and to have, be on a team like this and have these guys fighting with me, it makes it all that much more special. On deck, our continuing fight against hunger. Next. It starts your morning with a forecast, then watches your energy use all day. It can change your temperature from anywhere in the world, prevent you from heating and cooling an empty house, and still give you a comfortable welcome home. The iComfort Wi-Fi from Lennox. The most advanced comfort control solution available anywhere is now available for your home. So call Liberty Comfort Systems and make your home a smart home today. Lennox, innovation never felt so good. He is the pride of the east side of St. Paul, Matt, the Predator, Vanda. It will be my last fight, and I hope I go out with a knockout victory. Golden Caleb Truex. He's been saying he's going to knock everybody out for the last five years, and I think he's got about one knockout in the last five years. He's definitely not going to knock me out, and uh, if, it, if anything, I'm going to knock him out.
Welcome back. Game on powered by Kieran's Irish Pub. Great to have you with us. Happy New Year. Executive Chef James Kelly is with us. And Chef, this is a pub that is a lot more than just liquid. Look at this, and your menu is wide ranging. All from scratch. All from scratch. It's a full scratch menu. A couple of things that we try to gear towards fresh that aren't like the fries. Right. Really, we tried doing it at first, doing 400 pounds of fries a day was tough. Yeah. But you, you can get a hamburger if you want. But look at this. You've got specialized pizzas, salmon here, one of eight different salads, you tell me, and, and steak. And steak. Tell us about it. Well, th this here is a grilled strip loin, uh, 14 ounce with Lyonnais potatoes, Big one. wild mushroom demi, and uh, infused truffle oil. Little fresh salmon. Chili glazed salmon, our apple gorgonzola with balsamic glaze flatbread. Look at that. Harvest salad. Uh, everything out of here is local source. The beets, the pumpkin seeds, the raisins. You have happy hours seven days a week, so if people want to come, you want them to eat food as well as have a couple. Correct. Very nice. And if people want more information, website also has website the menu. Website has a full menu on it, uh, to go options. Which is nice. Whatever you right like. down in the heart of downtown, so if people want something on the go, call, take care of it. Call ahead, we'll have it ready at the bar for you. We'd love to have you. Always ask for the executive chef, he'll take care of you. Pleasure Great to, to you. have you with us. Cheers. Only here, and Happy Enjoy. New Year. Enjoy, Happy New Year to you. Right here. On Game On. Keep up with the Wolves in the NBA with my weekly blog at Simon Says at Timberwolves.com. Keeps you connected to all things inside the team. It's interactive, so drop me a note. Rod at GameOnTVMN.com and look for a new Simon Says blog every Thursday. Only at Timberwolves.com. And if you join us at Game On periodically, every week, one of the things you notice is we do care about the community. We're delighted to have Wayne Kostrowski back in the house, the creator of Taste of the NFL. And you and I were talking about holidays are over, we're into the new year. One of the things that might be out of sight, out of mind, is helping people eat because they're, they've gotten through the hard part. Yeah, it's, it, it, it's an interesting thing. Uh, when there's a need there and people are aware of it, they step up. And, and, and the holidays. Across, the holidays. across the country, yeah. Minnesota, in your own neighborhood. And when holidays come around, particularly from Thanksgiving yep. through Christmas holidays and now through New Year's you know, mm -hmm. coming by, uh, it's a time when people step up and help others. But what happens is very, very often, and food banks you know, are in need and they, they, they get a lot of help during the November and December. Come January, sometimes there's a mindset of a kind of a sigh of relief that, boy, I helped out, I donated, I donated cans, I did it at my community, my school. Uh, we can't forget about the folks in need. As the temperatures drop here, the need goes up, they need food for their families. Wayne is spearheading the Kick Hunger Challenge. You go to the website at tastethenfl.com. You can learn more about it. Tell us about the Kick Hunger Challenge. This is the fans' answer to supporting your favorite team and helping families. It's nice. a simple way to, to happen, uh, to, to help others. You make it happen by just checking it out, making a donation of any amount under the helmet or the team of your choice. Mm -hmm. In this case, Vikings. Right. Uh, all the money that's collected under that Vikings helmet will go to Second Harvest Heartland at the end of the Super Bowl this 100 year. 100% goes to Second Harvest Heartland. You, 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 here's an example. You give $10, $10. You think, well, will that really do anything? 70 meals can be provided through Second Harvest Heartland. Wow. So you give $10. 100% of that goes, and you, you've created 70 more meals for families in your area. Learn more about the Kick Hunger Challenge right there, and we'll be working all through the month of January. In fact, we're going to keep reminding you year-round about how you can help and keep food where it's needed in the families, and you're doing great work. It's a Super Bowl effort in Minnesota. We love you very much. Wayne Kostrowski is the man, and we're going to be seeing him at the Taste of the NFL in New Orleans as well. I bet we are. Only here on Game One. Wanna talk to Christ, but these sins on, you. on deck, an update from Macerv and Lil Craze. Only here on Game of Hi, I'm Christian Ponder with the Minnesota Vikings. I know how important it is to fuel up so that I can be successful on and off the field. As a partner with the Taste of the NFL and the NFL's Play 60 programs, I am proud to encourage all of my fellow NFL players to do our part to make sure kids get the nutrition they need to learn and play at their best. Go to tasteofthenfl.com and nfl.com to find out how you can help. Welcome to the team. Glad to have back on Game On. Lawrence McKenzie, Mac Irv in the house. How are you doing? 
and good partner, Lil Craze. And I know you know who he is because you have hundreds of thousands of followers on Facebook and yeah, Twitter. A little bit, yeah. Right. I've only got like 40,000 on Twitter. But Facebook? Uh, about 180,000. He's, he's a man. Everybody knows. I'm no Mac Irv, though. <laughs> I'm no Mac Irv. And I was asking him if he knew about your basketball exploits, and he said, I'm learning, I'm learning. He's learning a lot yeah. of you But the do. thing is, he, he hasn't played me yet. Ooh. I get it. I get you it. Know. Well, Happy New Year to you guys. You guys got a big show coming up on the 11th, six performers and all, yes. uh, updating folks on what you're doing. Pilot Life, fill us in on how that's going. Um, The Pilot Life is going excellent, man. If you don't know what the Pilot Life is about, it's all about taking leadership and taking the control of your future and putting it in your own hands and basically trying to build a new generation of leaders and people that instead of talking about doing something or saying I want to do this or I can't do this, no, nah, you got the opportunity to do it. Yeah. Like I said, I played basketball before and I got injured and I was at a point where I didn't know what to do yeah. with my life and you know, I always loved music and you know what I said, I'm, 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 I'm going to pursue this no matter what people say yeah. and what people think about it. And, as I came around, I just really pushed at it, and now people are becoming fans and they love it. So yeah. it's all about pushing and going after what you want and going and getting what you need. And Craze, you buy into that too. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I have a quote that I go under that is, uh, don't follow your dreams, lead them. And that's, that's it's exactly the same concept is, is don't, don't, don't go for something, just, just take it and, and make it yours. Yeah. Make it yours. January 11th, how can people get information and updates on, on the show at the Caboose? Um, you can get information at thecaboos.com. Okay. It'll be on my page if you want to go with Lawrence, Macker, McKenzie on Facebook. Yep. Uh, I have some information. I'll have the flyers posted all over the city. We're trying to get, a, uh, it should be in the city pages coming up soon nice. too. So Very nice. It'll be a, a lot of people uh, know about this and, and the, the nice thing about it is there's going to be six before, there's going to be a lot of rapping going on. Yeah, right a, lot, yeah. <laughs> a lot of rapping. Will you be headlining? Uh, actually, Mac is headlining. Very I'm no Mac Herb. <laughs> That's the theme of this he was, interview. He was kind enough to let me headline. You know, when I, when I did the show, and uh, just from the connection, the family connection, yeah. when I did the show, I just thought about him. I was like, man, it'd be nice if he could come on and just show some support, and he did it in a heartbeat, man. I definitely appreciated that. Well, it meant a lot to me, so. And he's a new papa in this new yes, year. Yes, yes, I am. Beautiful I am. Lauren. Yep, Lauren, Brielle, Mackenzie. Beautiful new addition to the family. So congratulations and that. happy new year. Thank you. Happy new year. Mac Irv, Lil Craze. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Man, the men are here. <laughs> happy new year, fellas. <laughs> happy new year. year. Right. Again. <laughs> Let's check in on the Kazi calendar. Kazi is the next big name in sports. Football is looking at the Super Bowl on February 3rd. The Wolves get Atlanta. There's Gopher football. They'll play in August against UNLV and Gopher basketball in Michigan. North Dakota gets Montana. Fort Wayne visits North Dakota State. There's South Dakota State and South Dakota hosts Kansas City. In hockey, the Minnesota men get Notre Dame, St. Cloud State in Denver, UND hosts Colorado College, and North Dakota State's at Williston State. If the Wild were playing, they'd get Anaheim in a big game. Swarm set to open. Twins Fest is coming. PGA is not far away. There's the Sony Open in Hawaii. The Champions Tour also over on the islands. NASCAR is coming in February. And the Wheels of Thunder with snow racing in January. Don't forget our podcast, Rod Webby in the A Train, with all the inside information and viewer mail. Get to us at GameOnTVMN.com. And don't forget that Kazi is the next big name in sports. Affordable equipment and apparel for your athlete at your fingertips. It's Kazi. On deck, your fantasy football playoff update, only on Game On. Pick up the latest issue of Wheels of Thunder magazine. If it's on wheels, you'll find it in Wheels of Thunder. Full color photos of bikes, trikes, cars, trucks, and even sleds. High performance are right off the street. Mind blowing power, speed, and custom touches. It's all in Wheels of Thunder magazine. Plus, find out about the latest races, rallies, and custom products and services in your area. Check out Wheels of Thunder on Facebook and follow them on Twitter. Wheels of Thunder. It's meat sauce if you've forgotten, but you can't forget this face. Here's the trivia answer. The question was, was Bud Grant the first coach of the Minnesota Vikings? The answer, no. It was Norm Van Brocklin. Bud Grant was hired in 67 after coaching Winnipeg in the CFL. See you Tuesday night at Bar Abilene, 8 to 10 for trivia, and next week on Game On.
Good to have the Game On Guru back in the house. The Fantasy Football Playoff Challenge presented by Malone's is well underway. Good to see you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Let's get after it. Indianapolis and Baltimore. Yes, uh, it's going to be a good matchup. Uh, at quarterback, Joe Flacco, of course, Andrew Luck. Uh, but this week I picked a, a, a stud. Ray Rice, who kind of underachieved throughout the season, but I look for him a to be a player in the playoffs. Yeah, absolutely. And your sleeper is a kicker. Yeah, um, you guys remember Adam Vinatieri oh, from yeah. all those years in New England. Uh, he's clutch, and I think that Baltimore's D is going to hold their offense in check. Big points for the kicker today. The other game is Seattle and Washington. A lot of football watchers like this because of the rookie quarterback matchup. Uh, the rookie quarterback matchup again, but also the running back matchup with the number two rusher and number three rusher. You've got Andrew, uh, I'm sorry, Alfred Morris and uh, Marshawn Lynch. A lot of Seattleites want to say he is the original beast. Yeah. Uh, Marshawn Lynch is having a great season. Yeah, he is. He's absolutely uh, carried fantasy lineups to a lot of championships this year. And if you're not yet involved in the Fantasy Football Playoff Challenge, it's not too late? No, it is not. Uh, we'll be giving away weekly prizes to top scoring teams, so there's always an opportunity to win. Go to our website, GameOnTVMN.com, for more information. It was fun just a few days ago. The Guru and I taking in the Vikings and Green Bay season finale at the Dome. Great game. Oh, it was wonderful. You'll never forget that one. Indeed, indeed. You will never forget it. We're going to make sure. For Minnesota, they have to win to get into the playoffs, and we know we're going to see a lot of Adrian Peterson today. The question is, is Christian Ponder, their quarterback, good enough to keep the Green Bay defense honest? Second down, Christian goes right back to Adrian. Stutter steps at the five, cuts to the left, reaches for the end zone. Touchdown! Busy show it's been. Go to our website, GameOnTVMN.com, for all the updates. We'd love to have you join us for our special hockey show Tuesday night. Until then, I'm Rod Simons. Have a great week and keep your game on. Urgh.